Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another really cool arcade game for you today. This one is kind of a mutt. We figured we'd show off a little bit. This is uh, Bally's 1983 Junior Pac-Man kit that they released where you could put it into a Pac-Man cabinet or a Mrs. Pac-Man cabinet or in this case a Super Pac-Man cabinet. So we thought we'd show it off a little bit, show you how they did that and uh, some of the idiosyncrasies of what they did. So basically Bally Midway brought out Pac-Man and a upright cabinet, a cabaret cabinet, and a cocktail cabinet. And then they brought out Miss Pac-Man in a cabaret cabinet, an upright cabinet, and a sit-down cabinet, cocktail cabinet. Um, and then they brought out Super Pac-Man in an upright cabinet and a I think on, on, think on, hmm, there may have been a cabaret Super Pac-Man, I'm not sure. Uh, Super Pac-Man was a, one of these and I believe a cocktail cabinet. And then they brought out Junior Pac-Man. And one of their ideas was, let's, uh, let's put Junior Pac-Man as a kit that they can put into all their old Pac-Man cabinets. And so uh, whoever the operator was that had this Super Pac-Man bought the kit and turned it into a Junior Pac-Man. So we'll show you how they did it. Now... Originally, this came from the factory as a Super Pac-Man, and the dead giveaway is this big chunk that's cut out of the side of the cabinet. So originally, the way this was, now this, the, the, uh, the silhouette looks just like a Miss Pac-Man cabinet, but it has this big chunk out of it. And on the original side art, there was a, like a, a big yellow Pac-Man painted here on the side and at the top it said super I think it was like this on the top it said super and at the bottom I believe it said Pac-Man so somebody at some point has painted over that unfortunately I wish it was still on there so I could show you the uh, the cool junior Pac-Man art that they sent with the kit so when you bought this kit to turn it into a junior Pac-Man you had to buy a specific kit for whatever specific cabinet you were trying to convert so there was like six different kits so there was a kit for an upright Pac-Man and an upright Miss Pac-Man. There was a kit for um, the cocktails, Miss Pac-Man and um, Pac-Man cocktails. There was a kit for a Pac-Man cabaret, which is a uh, you know a smaller one. Um, there was a, pick, a kit for a Miss Pac-Man cabaret, which is also a smaller one. There was a kit to turn a Super Pac-Man cocktail into a Junior Pac-Man cocktail. And there was another kit, and the one that they bought for this, to turn specifically a Super Pac-Man upright into a Junior Pac-Man upright. And so the main difference is there were two different boards that you needed, and the main difference was the artwork. So like I said on this one, it said it had like a uh, the big Pac-Man face, and it said Super Pac-Man. So they, they sent a little sticker with it that went right here, like that. It was kind of curved that said Junior on it that went over where it said Super. So after you put the, the sticker on it would say Junior and have the big Pac-Man face and then say Pac-Man under it. Very cool. Now on the front they did something similar. This still has they didn't paint over the front so the originally Super Pac-Man was a blue cabinet and it had some red lines on the front and so uh, they sent you this kick plate art so you stuck that around the coin door to make the artwork Junior Pac-Man artwork. You can see it's been damaged here a little bit from a lock bar, a security hasp that they put on the door so nobody could break into it. And it's got little Junior Pac-Man on his little tricycle doing his thing. Pretty cool. You can see how if this was put on a Miss Pac-Man, uh, these pink and yellow lines would line right up with a Miss Pac-Man door. I mean, a Miss, not Miss Pac-Man cocktail, Miss Pac-Man cabinet. These pink lines would line right up. So, very cool. Now, originally, Super Pac-Man had black tea molding. So this would have been black leather tea molding originally. And then they sent you a marquee, which would have been the same on all of the kits. And so you've got a little junior pack here with his paintbrush. I imagine this is faded, but I'm not positive. If it's faded, they're always faded. Looks faded. 
because you got two or three different shades of yellow. I can't imagine that it originally was like that. It probably had some red going on. You got the little gopher over here, or whatever that is. <laughs> you got the blue monster right there, Junior Pac-Man. You got a little bird over here. So that would have been on all of the kits. And then they also had this bezel that probably was the same in all of the uprights. The Miss Pac-Man, the, the uh, regular Pac-Man, and the Super Pac-Man. Now on the cabarets, the bezels were different sizes, so they probably had a different bezel for those. Well, I'm sure they did. It's too small. And on the cocktail, they would have had like a uh, one of the pieces of artwork that goes underneath the glass. So, we'll read over the instructions while we're at it, because we're going to play it here in a minute, but I'm going to show you some more stuff in the back. Instructions. Insert coin, select one or two players, Pac-Man, or Junior Pac-Man, avoids monsters, dot score 10 points, uh, that scores 50 points, six flashing energizers score 50 points. After energizing, Junior Pac can attack the monsters. Beware of flashing monsters, which are about to change back to the dangerous colors. Beware of bonus symbols, which can destroy energizers. Okay. You can see that this artwork, some of it's starting to delaminate. The artwork is actually separating from the glass, which is a shame. Monster point value. 1,600, 800, 400, 200 extra points. The trike is 100, the kite is 200, the drum is 500, the balloon is 700, the uh, locomotive is 1,000, the cat is 2,000, and the beer, why in the world would Junior Pac-Man be getting beer is 5,000. We'll say that's root beer. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a Sunday. It's a root beer float or something. There's the two monsters. There's the balloon. There's the cat. There's the kite. There's Junior Pack himself. And there's the drum set. Now, the control panel, they shipped you, I don't know if they just gave you artwork I think they just gave you artwork. Um, so this would have fit on the Pac-Man upright, this the Miss Pac-Man upright, and this the Super Pac-Man upright. And it, you, it originally was a little different. We've cleaned this one up a little bit. Originally this blue wrapped all the way down on the front. But we cleaned it up and gave it a nice look because it was all chipped up on the edges and looked, looked pretty rough. But not anymore. So this has got a 1984 copyright on it actually. It could have been that the field conversion didn't come. They called these the field conversion kits. Could have been that the field conversion kits didn't come out till '84. I don't know. There's Junior Pack one and two. So there was also, like I said, this is the, called the field conversion kit. Now there was also a dedicated kind of Junior Pac Man. So at the time, at the, around this time, they came out with this big game called Mappy. If you've ever played Mappy, that's a really fun game. And it had a really interesting cabinet that was similar to this, but the monitor, uh, or the top, only went up about this high. And then on the front, it had this huge sign, this marquee box that was a full twice as big as that, maybe even bigger. So it had this big, tall marquee box that stuck up to like here. And they had a bunch of extra Mappy cabinets, so they turned them into Junior Pac-Man cabinets. So what they did was they put this art on it, they put this uh, monitor bezel on it, they designed a big sign, glass too, this is glass, uh, they designed a big glass sign to go in that big marquee box, and this is from the factory. They designed this kick plate art here that goes around the coin door. I don't know if that's the same as on the dedicated cabinet. We'd probably have to look at that, it probably is. So they put that on it, and then on the sides it said Mappy, and so it had Mappy side art, Mappy. And they designed a new piece of side, side art that stuck over the Mappy side art. So if you get a dedicated Junior Pac-Man, usually it has the Mappy side art underneath it, because at the factory it was originally a Mappy. I don't know if they ever made any just for Junior Pac-Man, or if all of them were converted. So who knows? So that's the dedicated one, but we don't have one of those, so we're going to play a, this kit instead. Now here's the back. I'll show you uh, a little bit of how they did it. So in a in a Super Pac-Man, it's a little different than a Pac-Man and a Miss Pac-Man because a Super Pac-Man runs off DC power. So this, these transformers in the bottom 
run that power supply there. And the power supply sends the voltages over to the original Super Pac-Man board. Now we just so happen to have a Super Pac-Man board. So that's what a Super Pac-Man board looked like originally. Actually says... Video PC board, Super Pac-Man, 1982, right? So this would have been mounted in the cabinet right where that board's mounted. And so you can see that there are, on the Super Pac-Man board, one, two, three, four connectors. This is the video connector here. And so what they did was they designed a board that they called the... Uh, it's gonna be upside down because I can't. Oh, well, let me let me flop the camera upside down. I can't tell if I've got that right. You may be able to read that. It says Junior Pac-Man Conversion Logic PC. So there are two versions of this. There's a DC version and an AC version. So this is the DC version because it's meant to go in a cabinet like this that had DC power and a power supply. They made an AC version that went in the Pac-Man cabinets and the Miss Pac-Man cabinets and the Pac-Man cocktails and the Miss Pac-Man cocktails because all those ran off AC power. And so to make this one board be able to go in a bunch of different cabinets, they made this little adapter board, right? And so it says, Junior Pac-Man interference, I mean interface filter, right? So the purpose of that was to make it where you could plug all of these cables in, the four different cables that were originally on this board, and also it has these little um, FCC required you know, capacitors uh, to make it all legal beagle. So you would put on the artwork like we talked about, swap the board in, plug the old connectors in, and you would have a working Junior Pac-Man with one of the, the ugliest attract modes of all time. That attract mode is god awful. It looks like a kid drew it. Um, but the game itself, very fun. I don't know if all the Junior Pac-Mans are that damn fast, are they? Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna go with no, because they have replaced the chip, look. Four of those are original. And that one says, Junior Pack Speed Up. So they have made them fast. That's the only one we've got. We could probably take the time to reburn the slower one on there, the normal speed one. But we're just going to play it with the fast speed one on it. So I'll get the tripod. We'll set it up. We'll play Junior Pack at a blazing, blazing fast speed. And you can see what it was like. Okay, folks, I'm going to show you the attract mode and the little intro thing, which is the most cheesy, underdone thing I've ever seen Bally do. <laughs> so there's a little bridge going over a river, and here comes Blinky. That's Pinky. Then here comes Inky. I can't even tell what they're doing. And then here is Tim. Tim, people. And he looks up and he sees a stork coming. With Look at those clouds. He sees the stork coming. Stork drops the little bundle. There's our Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man. And out comes Junior Pac. Notice he's slightly smaller. So I wonder if I wonder if the Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man sprites would even fit in the maze because it looked like he's a little bit smaller and he barely fits. Oh, he got dealt with quick, and he has a little beanie. Game over. But look how they drew it and stuff. I mean, it, who the hell thought that was a good idea? I don't get it. Do not get it. But with all that said, it's a really fun game. It's like Pac-Man on steroids, so we'll play it a little bit. Of course, the main thing on this one is that the maze is bigger than the screen, so it moves. You can move off, move the maze around, especially on super fast like this one. So we will drop in a quarter.
Well, I'll try to. There we go. Gawk, gawk. That screen looks a little better. Also, the music is great on this, like on all of the Pac-Mans. Um, this is a, uh, it's a newer monitor. It's not the original one that was in here. It's like a, uh, it's like a newer Wells Garner monitor. And it's a little bit degaussed up here. That should be yellow like the rest of it, but it's a little bit off. Now, I'm not a great player, but we'll play it a little bit. This is an actual original board on an original monitor. Well, an original style CRT monitor. <laughs> The sound really holds up to the great sound that they had on the uh, the other uh, Pac-Man games, except for that part. That's a little, nah. I guess I'm playing for points. Let me try to play for points. So if you're playing for points... You need to try to eat every monster with every pellet. Because you get more points. Oh, come on. I'm going to miss this one. Nope, I got him. So basically, you need to get... Man, he is fast. They can't handle it, folks. my extra junior Pac-Man. They can't handle me. I'm going to miss that one. There's no way I can get him. Let me try to get my... I got the trike. That's what they were talking about. Some of them are worth more points. Did not know that. I guess the, uh, was the trike doing that to him? Uh, I wasted it. I wasn't trying to go down that far. I guess I didn't waste it. It worked out. Hmm. They got me. It's almost too fast. Camel, okay, wait over here until they. Ah, oh, I didn't know that was the last one. I was waiting for the last guy to come out. Junior meets Yum Yum. Here comes Yum Yum. Miss Pac-Man scared him off. She's not having that young lady around her house. Yeah, look, the kite is doing it to the... Well, hell, I hate to get it. If it's leaving me nice presence like that. Mm. Oh, I went too far. Let's do it one more again. going too fast for me.
Oh, I should have known better than that. I was driving too fast. if you don't get the trike does he eventually disappear I'm not going to f oh man I was trying to go down I'm not going to find out on purpose come on I want him to come out of the corral oh this is too fast I think it, it actually screws you up because you can't uh Like, bait them, you know what I mean? Like, even though you're faster than them, you can't, like, you can't just waste time. You know, like, just go up here until they get over. Junior meets Yum Yum. Look, she protect. But she also attack. one of them. Where's the other one hiding? Ooh, right back in the corral. All right, I'm going to see what happens to the kite if I don't grab it. Oh, it, it killed the energizer. That's what they were saying. So don't let them get near an energizer, folks. I should have went after the monsters, people. Because it would have threw them back in the corral. And they'd get out of my way a little bit. Can I sneak over there? Can I sneak over there, people? Got it. I don't think I'm ever going to beat this board, though, so we can see what happens with Junior Pack and Yum Yum next. But I'll try. Okay, so now I'm just trying to get dots. They got me. I died it did. So I got 31,000. Mm. Okay, we're going to play one more game. Let's see if my skills can improve. I love the music. Okay, so I'm going to try to just get all the dots so I can see how, how what board I can get to. See if we can unlock any more of the story. Alright, 
I'm just going to try to complete it to see if we can get more of the story. I need to get my extra, my extra bro, though. Come on, bro. There we go. Split second too slow, folks. I can't see him. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh! Again, too slow. I gotta get better. went up last time. Why is it going down this time? All right. So that's level two. Now we'll see what we can do. We got two men, two juniors. Helps if you can eat them because it throws them back in the corral and gives you a little time till they get back out. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? I know y'all saw that. Found a little glitch. That was glitch tastic. fast folks it's too fast okay, I got one arm off my back at least oh I thought that was it I must have left one on the other side what did I do I the gift it has a balloon she's waiting for him at the bridge he gives her the balloon yum yum's little mom or whatever looks angry to get to to get another man or another junior yeah that was cool Junior. I'm getting a little better at. Okay, I can see them all. You kind of lose them a little bit, you know, where you don't know where they're all at. All right, well, there you go, folks. It's about as good as I'm going to be able to do today. That is Bally Midway's Junior Pac Man, 1983, 1984 ish in the conversion kit in a Super Pac-Man. Now by the time you see this video, Junior Pac-Man may have sped very fast over to someone else's home. Might be in somebody else's game room. My point is, when you see this video, this game may not be for sale anymore, even though that's what we do is sell these. We're not filming these to sell them to you, we're really just filming them to show you some interesting things like this one. How the game played on the original hardware, 
how the uh, how it looks on a CRT, uh, how they did the field conversion kit into a Super Pac-Man. I'm just trying to show a little bit of that stuff because in the future, who knows if any of these will even be left around. This one will likely get turned back into a Super Pac-Man because that's what it originally was and everybody puts them back how they were. So you lose a lot of these kits as time goes on. Uh, but don't fret. If you see this video and we don't have it available for sale anymore, um, you can look on our website and see what we do have for sale. Just go to lionsarcade.com and we've got a showroom here with dozens of games at all times. Arcade games, pinball machines, and jukeboxes usually. So you can see all those on lionsarcade.com. Uh, or you can stop by and see us. We're in downhill, downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. Not downhill, Rock Town. Downtown Rock Hill. That's a tongue twister. We are in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. It's about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. Just over the border, down below Carowinds, if you know where that is. Now, if you can't come by because you're not local, and you've checked out our website, uh, but you, uh, you're you not going to be buying a game anytime soon, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. We film videos like this all the time and upload them, upload them every week. Go look at our uh, uploads. You'll see that we tell the truth every week. We upload videos. Now, if you uh, if you subscribe to us, it will let you know when a new one comes out. And also, down below, thumbs up the video. That helps us out. We appreciate it when you folks do that. Leave your comments below. Have you ever played Junior Pac-Man in an arcade game? Where did you play it? We like hearing where people played them back in the day, at the beach, at the bowling alley. Where was it? So uh, leave your comments below, subscribe to us, thumbs up the video, and we will see you on the next video.